Welcome to Pin the World. I'm Laura. And I'm Ryan. Welcome to the British Invasion. <laughs> Hello, everybody. Welcome back to our channel. Feels like it's been a while since we filmed, but we are here with something very exciting. Yeah, some goodies <laughs> from the United Kingdom. Yes. We went all the way there. We uh, forgot the camera, so we didn't. We have no evidence of, of the trip, but it was... Uh, no, I'm, I'm No, joking. we did not go there, but my sister, Sharon, she is currently living in the UK. She has been since September of 2023, so yay for her. And she has sent me a bunch of stuff. So I'm very excited. I have two different packages. So let's just get into it. I think we've got some a plushie, some puzzles, and a pin. So taking it back to our old uh, our old roots. Yeah, yeah, pop, um, yeah, pins, pops, plushies, and more. So this box is really awkward. She got this from work. She kind of borrowed it from work. So we'll return it. <laughs> um, so yeah, so it's all bubble wrap. She did warn me. So sorry. Okay. Wow. Yeah. It's like, so, sometimes we pre unpack stuff. It's like stuff, really bubble wrap. We won't. We won't do that. You can just share in the. Uh, okay. The Are we joy. just gonna keep talking through it? I think we just keep talking okay. through it. We'll so see this, how noisy it is for you. This shouldn't be too bad. Actually, I probably should have been a bit more intentional about unwrapping this bubble wrap because we yeah. could have saved it, but that's okay. This is exciting. Sometimes it's it's like Christmas morning, just fun to. Uh, to rip into it, or are you one of those people that you know, like sort of starts from the corners and gets the tape off Stop. very neatly, or it's thrash into the present? I don't know. Okay, I think we have freed the mouse. Yes, the mouse. So Ryan, I don't know that you know what this is. I have is. no I idea. Mean, you're at the best of times. Kind of seeing it. So my sister oh, went wow. to the Disney Store London. Very cool. I wish I could go there. And so she's actually been twice. And the first time she went, it was very chaotic, very busy. She didn't really know exactly what to do, but we were on like a, a FaceTime. I don't know. It's not exactly FaceTime, but anyways, we were on a video call together and um, I picked a pin and then, but there wasn't really anything that much different. But then as she was checking out, like she sent me a picture and like something in the picture caught my eye, but it was too late. She was already gone by the time I saw it, but then she was able to go back and she got this for me. So I yeah. guess I'm just going to show And it's very first. kind of her because she's not in London. She's, uh, if, if I recall, probably like three hours north of, of London. So. Yeah, yeah, but she's been uh, using the transportation and getting around and definitely seeing lots of different parts of the country. So are you guys ready? Ah! <laughs> so it is... Disney Store London Mickey. So it says that on his foot and his hat. So I guess he's um, like the, the the royal guard. Yeah, like the guard. Um, and his ears stick out there. It's so cute. And his little red jacket. And then you can see the hat is kind of held on by like gold. Oh, um, so let's take a look. Oh, mouse he badge. Does. Very, very cute. That is cute. So I'm really happy because I don't know if we'll ever make it to London. I don't really know, but um, that is very cute. And then the tag, oh, it doesn't have like any, doesn't say how many pounds he was. Anyways, he wasn't cheap in Canadian money. He looks pretty light. <laughs> <laughs> Good one. Anyways, so there is Mickey. So he's very cute. I'll cut this tag off. I can't deal with tags even this tag, but uh, there'll probably be some sort of picture Super or cool. video on our Instagram. Disney.pin.love, <laughs> still. Yes, so <laughs> thank you, Sharon, for that. He's so cute, that's adorable. Okay, so let's move on. We have a big box. Yeah, this one that was heavy. package two, technically. Yes, so that one was found after this huge box was mailed to us. So this one gave her a little bit of trouble because, I don't know, you go to take it to the Royal Mail office and they're like, nah, like that's too heavy. You can't bring it to this one. Like, it doesn't really make any sense. But anyways. Here so, it is. Here it is. So we have this package. Ryan's gonna show you this. 
Okay. So this should be... Oh! Oh, there's a bonus thing in there that I forgot about. There oh. should be two things in there then. Well... Here's a... Oh. A Sully. A sleeping... Sully? A sleeping Sully... Snugget? Snuglet? Snuglet. is a snuglet? It's British. I don't oh. know. What is a snuglet? It's cute though. Sounds like a mix of snuggle and nugget and... It is. It's a little snuggle. Maglet. It's a snuggle nuglet. Maglet? Yeah. <laughs> this isn't maglet. But like the <laughs> L-E-T of course. <laughs> Look at his face. He's so cute. He's so soft. I'm probably just gonna like cut this keychain off because I don't really need him to be a bag clip and just have him in my Sully collection. So thank you. There you go. That's number forget, 300 um, and... <laughs> yeah. I don't know what store this came from. Um, I was gonna say Aldi, but that's American. Anyways, I don't yeah. remember. <laughs> Ooh. Ooh. <laughs> so we've got a pin, a, an LE of 5,000. It's a Christmas pin. That's perfect. Actually, that's going to be the centerpiece of our new Christmas pin board. Ooh. So we are now collecting uh, Christmas pins of all varieties. So we used to just do Fab Five, and now we are doing all the things. So we've got some Duffy and Friends, Winnie the Pooh. This one will go, this one will be perfect in the center. There we go. Oh. Got it out. More. Yeah, you can Easily than I there. thought, so... Very nice! You know, a fair out? bit of yeah. screen printing, but... Some glitter elements, um, you've got everybody on there. And Chip and Dale, and the ornaments are Fab Five. That's really cute. Yeah. I like that. Uh, it is nice. Yeah, like, the, the screen printing... It's becoming more and more common these days, and I'm not obsessed with it. I just think it kind of cheapens it, and also yeah. it makes it very delicate. Like, this could, if this got scratched, it would probably just be ruined. Um, not a fan, but what can we do? Yeah, we just gotta deal with it. Because Disney's gonna keep being cheaper and cheaper, because we keep buying and buying. <laughs> but anyways, so, the last thing. I don't exactly know. Okay, I do know how I'm gonna do this. It's gonna make some, some noise, actually. So I'm gonna grab this. You lift all hold. Oh, there okay. we go. So we're done with that giant box. We have three more items in here. I'm just gonna see. And if I recall, these are things that you ordered to her address. So well, I was. She had forwarded essentially. Yeah. So originally I was going to order them, but of course, because like addresses and ah. billing stuff, it was very dramatic. So I just said, Hey, I said, can you please, these are the three things that I want, please order them. And the way she has her bank set up, I can just e-transfer her. So that's super easy. Like it doesn't have to be, it's not, not some international fiasco. Um, so she ordered them and had them shipped to her apartment and then repurposed the box to ship the rest of the stuff. And her flat, as they say, <laughs> yes, I guess that is what they say. So now, as you can see, possibly from the sides, it is puzzles. And we have- Three of them. Oh, okay, be careful. I don't want to drop them as I'm throwing them all around. So they're Ravensburger, I see. Oh which- Oh gosh. Is... How did, did you wrap these, Sharon? Like, I don't even know how to get into this. But yes, they are Ravensburger, but they are ones that you, well, so I haven't seen in Canada anyways. I don't know. Like, yeah, they're just, they're not in Canada. So there's one, but just wait. No, you don't want to show that one. That's oh, not the one. Okay. Gonna... We're going to show that one first, but then we've got these other two. Sorry about all the bubble wrap noise. Now we have like a group scarf. Here we go. All right. There we go. We're ready. Should we film like what this? What are we ready for? I don't know. A blizzard. Okay, we're ready to show you. So we're gonna save these two. Okay. Because they're very exciting. And this is one that Ryan will not like, but I am very excited oh, about. Oh, I see. So this has cats. And it is the Aristocats. So very cute. I think I pretty much have every single one of these puzzles that's ever existed. So when I saw this one, I was like, oh my gosh, I need it. It does not have the film strip. Sometimes they have yeah. the film strip but it's got all the cats and it looks, it, to be honest, it looks really fun to put together because there's a lot of 
variety. I was gonna say I couldn't. I can't think uh, of anything nice to say about the subject matter, but I I see what you mean. It, it may actually be like an easier one for you. Yeah. Just like there like are you... some lines to go with. There's not any one. You know. You know. It's not like a third of it is just the sky yeah. that looks sort of all the same. So. Yeah. That's gonna be. That's gonna be really fun. Yeah. Get it done and get rid of it. I'm not getting rid of it. I keep my Ravensburger puzzles. I, I sell the other ones that I don't, that I've finished with just because, but Ravensburger, I feel like one day I will revisit them and do them again. Not that one. I probably will. Okay, so do you want to show the next one? I don't know. Um, oh, it's too hard to know what dates they are. So there was a bunch of these to choose from and I decided to narrow it down to two. And it is wrapped in plastic, but I think you can see it okay. I've not even seen it. So, oh, look at that. Okay, so that's the 1960s one. Yeah, groovy. And it's just, uh, like, it's so yeah, perfect. Yeah, I love the, uh, like, the scrapbook like, element. There's Walt. Yeah. Like, there's so much to look at. Yes. There's little hidden Mickeys on the I mean, placemat film, thing. Film reel, technically, down, uh, down there. The scrapbook is sort of flipped to me. No, that is that is it's, really cool. Yeah. Retro vibes, obviously. Like Mouse a label tears. maker. I, oh, I yeah, remember look, and it's labeled. Like I didn't that. even know what that yep. was, but yeah, it's labeled there. <laughs> <laughs> little oh. ruler set. A sticker. I feel like I've got a sticker like that. So one of these will be... I will be starting on one of these wow. Mickey Mouse ones like today like on filming day so make sure you're on our instagram we already advertised that so we won't do it again and very cool so then the next one is following the similar patterns they had the decades so that was the 1960s this is the 1950s it was hard to narrow it down i really wanted them all but this one had so many cute elements. It's got like a little, like Mickey's almost like yeah. a, one of those paper, like you can use those yeah. little metal things and make his arms move. There's a tape measure for some reason there. Um, it's just so cute. That, like, no, that's, that's a really like, neat concept. <laughs> do you know, did they do all the decades from, I, I mean, Mickey only came about in 1928, so probably not the 20s, but like the 30s yeah. onwards. Yeah, I think, like, they had, I swear they had, like, about five of them. Yeah. Like, I don't know that they had a super relevant one. Like, they didn't have one that was, like, 1990. Like, it was mostly the older, so maybe they had you can see the 30, 80s 40, being 50, 60, 70. Quite 70. a change from the 70s. We will take a look. We will have to take a look. Yeah, I'm, I'm and curious. if editing Laura feels like informing you of anything, it will be written on the screen here. <laughs> and uh, if not, there they are. So... What a great like, haul. Thank you, Sharon, yeah. for, uh, for making this possible. Yeah, very Because in some cases, it's it's just not possible, or, or you'd have to yeah. you know, try to contact a distributor and probably pay a, a, you know, a, a huge and, sum for well, shipping. So there is a Canadian puzzle girl who sells international puzzles. Mm. That's how I first learned about the Aristocats one, and then I went down this whole rabbit hole. But, like... She doesn't sell them for twenty five Canadian. Like that's yeah. not what they cost. Like they're closer to one hundred dollars per puzzle, which I just I can't fathom ever spending that. They're super cool and amazing, but like going directly to Sharon was the way to do it. So yeah, yeah there you go. Pretty pretty cool haul. Um, stuff from the UK. I don't know. Maybe one day we'll make it there. Maybe we won't. But uh, yeah. So thank you for taking the time to ship us those and thank you to all of you guys for watching this video. Yeah. Who's your favorite beetle? Nice. <laughs> That's so cliche, but I, you know, I started the video with like a British invasion thing, which I love so many of those British invasion bands, the Rolling Stones, the Who, who's your favorite beetle or what's your favorite Beatles song? That's pretty universal. Yeah. For so sure. George and Don't Let Me Down. Nice. And I don't know. So <laughs> we're going to go with the same as Ryan. <laughs> so that's all for today. And we will see you guys in the next video. Cheerio. Bye.